Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually a part two to a video that I released a few months ago and this video is a step-by-step -step on how I made this little gum paste teacup and saucer. I started with a template and cut out all three parts of my teacup and saucer. This part will be the teacup. This next part will be the saucer. And this tiny piece is the bottom of the saucer. One thing to remember is that it's very important to use gum paste because you can roll thinner and it dries faster but you can certainly use fondant with Tylos powder to replace the gum paste. Just remember that if you're using fondant your piece will be a little bit heavier and it'll take slightly longer to harden or dry. Usually when rolling out my fondant or gum paste, I like to use a non-stick surface but I also like to sprinkle my surface with a little bit of cornstarch to avoid any sticking. Once you have rolled out your gum paste into an even thickness, you can begin to cut out the template using a pen blade. In between cuts, I like to powder my blade with a little bit of cornstarch to avoid any additional sticking from my gum paste onto my blade. Now that I have used my template to cut out my gum paste, I will go ahead and add tape onto both ends to make sure that I create the little teacup so that my gum paste can rest inside of it. Now that we have our paper teacup, we will go ahead and adhere both sides of the gum paste using edible glue so that we can make sure it holds on once we place it inside the paper teacup. Allowing our gum paste to dry inside our paper model is what's going to give our gum paste the shape of the teacup. Now we will go ahead and repeat the same steps for our saucer and for the base of our saucer. For this part, since we are cutting a round shape, I am going to go ahead and use a circle cookie cutter just to make it easier to cut versus using our blade to cut all around the circle. Don't forget to cut out the slit that is at both ends of the saucer because when we adhere both of these ends, it will add dimension to our saucer.
When you have placed the gun paste saucer onto your model, make sure to flip it over and allow it to dry like this overnight so that it can catch the little bit of dimension and circular shape of the saucer. Cut out the base of the saucer using your blade and then once you are through with the blade you can go back with a tiny little circular cutter just to make sure that you sharpen up the edges. Once you are done cutting out all of your pieces make sure to allow them to dry overnight and then once they are all dry you can begin to assemble. Now I did lose pieces of my footage but here is a photo of what I did. Make sure to attach your teacup onto your saucer using edible glue or royal icing and don't forget to also make a little handle for your teacup as shown here. I hope you were able to learn a few things by watching this video and again I'm so sorry for the lost footage but definitely if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!